What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Recently, I've been studying for the ISC squared CC, which stands for Certified in Cybersecurity. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on the certification so far, based on my recent study and the research I've done. Now the ISC squared CC course is a free self-paced course, which is pretty good for learning the foundations of cybersecurity. The course is self-paced, so you can do it in your own time. You can choose to go back to things and it's not only a video course it's got video and written information and it's also got knowledge checks and tests within that course so far from what i've done i think the course is really good it's really well structured and it's really helpful for what i'm learning i'm at a point in my career which i'm starting to learn a lot more about cybersecurity and work a lot more with cybersecurity in general a lot of the people around me are cybersecurity focused rather than previous roles where it was only cloud infrastructure and mainly just cloud stuff. So this certification is pretty good for me. So the training and the exam are free. However, once you get the certification, it costs $50 a year to maintain it. So for myself at the moment, I'm considering whether I will go through the training and exam and not really do the membership stuff, um, just do the exam do the training and take what I've learned and move on. But if I want to have a membership with IC Squared, I'll pay the $50 per month and hold on to that membership. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. Probably not. I'll probably just take the free stuff and forget about the, the paid membership. So far, what I've come across, there are very few things in there that are completely new to me, but this is coming from someone who's worked in cloud for a while and who's worked in cybersecurity for about 10 months. So it doesn't come as a surprise that most of these things are already familiar. From what I've seen so far, the first few chapters of this course and this training are very much theoretical. Whereas now that I've gotten to the fourth chapter, um, there are five chapters in the whole course. I'm on the fourth chapter at the moment and it is getting a bit more technical as this is sort of speaking about more the networking side of network security one of the great things about this training is that it provides questions as you go so after every few segments it has a knowledge check which gives some questions on what you've just gone through and if you answer those questions correctly then you move on or if you don't answer them correctly you can choose to review what you've just gone through again and that would be really helpful of course for the exam and for really taking in the knowledge that you're learning rather than just reading and watching stuff and forgetting about it. Let's talk a bit about who this sort of certification would be really good for. So firstly, I think this sort of certification, the IC squared CC would be really good for someone who is new to cybersecurity. Say you don't really have any cybersecurity experience or knowledge and you wanna start from the basics. This is a pretty good certification to start with. It really goes from the foundations and is very much an entry level certification. Another group of people who this certification would be really good for is early careers. So people like myself in the first or second year of their career who are looking to learn a lot more, refresh their knowledge and that sort of thing. This certification could be really good for you also. Another group it would be great for is conversion from another industry or another part of tech. So someone moving into the tech industry from say, I don't know, finance or engineering, and moving into cybersecurity, this certification would be a great start and it would be a foundation to move on to other certifications and to learn a lot more. Same for someone in another area of tech, say IT support or say cloud infrastructure, moving from those areas into cybersecurity, this would be a good certification to start to build up your knowledge with as you move on to learning more and getting deeper into the technology. So if this is something you're interested in, if you'd like to get this free training and start to learn a lot more about cybersecurity, if this certification seems right for you from what I've said so far, then use the link in the description to go and register for the certification and start learning. I'm taking this certification and I'm gonna be taking the exam sooner or later. And when I take this exam, I'll probably be making another video on how to pass the exam and how I pass the exam. So stay tuned for that, if that's something that you'd be interested in. If you do wanna look more into this certification, use the link in my description, and that will take you straight to their website. 
Additionally, if you have taken the certification already, or if you're currently studying for the certification, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the certification so far, or if you've completed it, your thoughts on how the exam went. So please leave a comment in the comment section saying how the exam went, how you found it, and how you did. Thanks so much for watching this video. Remember to leave a like and a comment. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. I have a lot of videos like this talking about certifications and careers in tech. So please subscribe if that's something that interests you. Follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram and I'll see you in the next video.